meteorologist Ryan Trushlet. This morning, there are no threat level changes as Tropical Storm Matthew is a long-term threat to the U.S. coast. Tropical Storm Matthew is moving through the eastern Caribbean this morning and will likely become a hurricane by this weekend to the southeast of Jamaica. There is a large spread in the ensemble forecast tracks beyond five days, though miles have shifted east towards the climatologically favored solution of an out-to-sea track overnight. Still, the Gulf and U.S. East Coast should continue to monitor, monitor Matthew carefully as there remain elevated U.S. landfall risks on days 7 through 10. To come 4. The southern plains and delta are clear and cool behind the front this morning, and can expect little to no additional precip as temperatures remain somewhat below average for 3 to 4 days. Miles are split, but look for ridging to slowly rebuild east next week, with the next rain chance north in around 6 to 7 days. Difficult 4. The Midwest is seeing rain in the Ohio Valley this morning, and the eastern Ohio Valley will see 3 quarters to 1 and a half inches or more of rain from a stall cutoff low over the next 3 to 4 days. The western Corn Belt can expect mild weather with no rainfall for another 5 days, and there remain no freeze threats expected over the next 10 days. DEFCON 3. In South America, weather remains cool and dry today, and no changes to this pattern are expected over the next 3 to 4 days. The next frontal rain chance will move into the region Sunday, followed by another disturbance midweek, which will bring 3 quarters to 1 and a half inches through day 7 for most of northern Argentina and southern Brazil. DEFCON 4. Now you know the weather in a minute for September 29th. Keep watching the skies.